Welcome to Weld School. We're gonna go ahead and make a drawing today. Uh, we're gonna use two orthographic views. This is Weld School. We're gonna make an L bracket. Today's date, material is STL, abbreviation for steel. Drawers, initials, scale, we're gonna go one-to-one. -one. I'm gonna copy, uh, literally trace the outside of this as I do just to save time on these videos, keep them short, sweet, and to the point. And we're gonna say that this is on a size A mechanical drawing sheet, which is eight and a half by 11, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna call this the front, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start to outline this one. These are going to be solid object lines. Obviously, it is a object line because we can see the edges. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and trace the outside of this really simple component, which is in an L shape. And it's two pieces, even though it was welded. And I went ahead and continued that line all the way across. The only thing that maybe you don't notice is that there are holes for this bracket. So I'm going to go ahead and set that back down. I'm going to find out where the holes begin, make a little tick mark here on both edge, edges of the hole that was drilled. And because they are uh, going through the part, we cannot see those edges. So we need to go ahead and use our hidden lines. So a hidden line is always a dashed line, consistently dashed, a little bit different than some of the other lines where maybe they're short dash, long dash, so on and so forth. I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of the way. And one more here. Okay, so here we have our front view. I'm going to go ahead and write that on here. Front view, okay? The only other one that I'm going to really make for this drawing, really simple, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a top view. Uh, because it's one-to-one -one and I'm tracing this part, I don't have room for any other views. I'm not taking the time to scale it down. I'm just keeping it short, sweet, and to the point. So I'm going to go ahead and put, obviously I put this in line, so you can see this line coming up here. Uh, I want to put it in line and above. Coming across. And if I kind of follow this, it looks like here and here, the hole. And I know that this is going to go up right here. Just follow that line straight up. And there is a uh, the hole that was going through. Just trying to find out exactly where it was. Somewhere around there. And we'll put our hidden lines for that drilled hole. Now when we place this like this, we can actually see the edge of that, so we can actually put that hole. We'll follow this straight up, and that would be an object line. Okay, so this is then our top view. So we have a front view, top view, easily could make this component uh, welded if it had a welding symbol and whatnot, uh, just by using uh, these two views. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw a weld symbol in there. And I'm going to take my arrow coming up off an angle. I'm going to run a horizontal line for my uh, reference line. And I guess I could uh, put a square groove, really both sides, square groove. And I'm going to put GTAW, so we are TIG welding this. I'm going to throw something else in there. Autogenous. That's actually what it looks like it was done. It's like they just uh, fused the metal that was already there. Um, but that pretty much wraps up this simple little drawing. We're calling it the elbow bracket. Uh, I guess one other thing that I could do, I could put a leader. 
with an arrow coming down and I could say the diameter of this is 3 16 and I can write through if I don't write through it's assumed it's through the only time that it's not through uh, is if maybe we use this little symbol and then we say I don't know since I can inch and three quarters across and maybe we would say an inch depth or DP is uh, depth either way this one goes all the way through, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, and we'll actually just write in the words through uh, for this one. And one other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to write TYP. So that means that it's typical. So if you see another hole on the actual part, it is the same size hole and all the way through. So TYP, you have hole here, here, same thing. All right, so that wraps up the L bracket. Uh, Thanks for joining us with Waltz School.